Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain what is Ohm's law and what are the limitations of Ohm's law. So first definition of Ohm's law. Coming to the definition, at constant temperature, current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor. Okay, what is the definition? At constant temperature, constant temperature current flowing through a conductor conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor okay so this is the definition of the ohm's law ohm's law definition right so this first time taking one conductor so let me consider one conductor this is the conductor this is the conductor I am assuming the current flowing through this conductor is I. I am assuming current flowing through this conductor is capital I and voltage across this conductor I am taking V. Okay, voltage is nothing but potential difference between uh, this conductor, potential difference across this conductor. So next I am taking resistance of the conductor. So let me consider R. Okay, so R is the resistance of the conductor. I is the current flowing through the conductor and V is the potential difference across the conductor and R is the resistance of the conductor, right? So according to the definition, uh, once you see the definition, at constant temperature, at constant temperature, current flowing through a conductor. What is the current flowing through a conductor here? I, okay, current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across the conductor, right? So therefore, we can write current flowing through a conductor, I is directly proportional to the voltage or potential difference across the conductor what is the potential difference here v okay therefore current is directly proportional to the voltage current is directly proportional to the voltage so i am taking this is equation number one okay so next continue the definition i am inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor okay so next current is inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor so therefore i is inversely proportional to the resistance of the conductor i is inversely proportional to the resistance of the conductor so i am taking this as equation 2 this as equation 2 so from equation 1 and 2 we can write from equation 1 and 2 we can write current i is equal to current i is equal to v by r current i is equal to v by r so this is the ohm's law equation so from this we can write v is equal to i into r v is equal to i into r so this is the definition of the ohm's law okay let me consider one example on this let me consider one example on this i am taking one simple circuit okay so in uh, in this circuit i want current i in this circuit i want current i so we can calculate the current i by using ohm's law okay 
So what is the Ohm's law equation from I is equal to V by R. So substitute V value and R value. So your voltage value is given, uh, resistance I, uh, R value is given, right? So therefore, if I substitute, uh, then I will get uh, 10 by 5 that is equal to 2 amperes, okay? So therefore, 2 amperes flows through this one, okay? So in place of conductor, instead of conductor, here I take in resistance, okay? So this is the Ohm's law. So similarly, if I increase this voltage, so if I increase this voltage to 20 volts, if I increase this voltage to 20 volts, then calculate the current, okay? Resistance value is same, just I increased voltage value. So therefore, I is equal to 20 by 5. So that means what happened? 4 amperes, right? So therefore, if we increases the voltage value, current value also get increased, right? So it will become 4 amperes now. Okay, so from this it is clear that for constant, for constant R, for constant R, here I am keeping R is equal to 5 is constant, for constant R, current I is directly proportional to the voltage, current I is directly proportional to the voltage. So if you draw the graph between I and V, you will get the linear graph, you will get linear graph. So that means you will get like this. On x axis, I am taking voltage. On y axis, I am taking current. Okay, so you will get like this. If I increase the voltage, current value also increases linearly. Okay, so this is the graph, linear graph. Okay. Next, coming to the limitations of Ohm's law. Limitations of Ohm's law. limitations of Ohm's law. First limitation is Ohm's law is only valid for constant temperatures. Ohm's law only valid, valid for constant temperature. So this is the first limitation okay it is it valid only for constant temperatures it valid only for constant temperatures so next second limitation is it is applicable it is not applicable to unilateral network okay so this is not applicable for this law is not applicable for is not applicable for This law is not applicable for unilateral unilateral networks. Unilateral networks okay so the ohms law is not applicable for unilateral network so what are the unilateral network unilateral network allows current in only one direction okay what what are the unilateral networks are unilateral elements unilateral uh, networks are elements allows current in only one direction so such type of network consists of elements like diode transistor etc okay so therefore uh, ohms law is not valid for diodes and transistors so that are the unilateral elements right so next uh, third limitation is third limitation is it is not applicable it is not applicable to non linear elements it is not applicable to non linear elements so therefore this law this law is not applicable for non linear elements non-linear elements this law is not applicable for non-linear elements so what are the non-linear elements here okay so in non-linear elements which do not have current exactly proportional to the applied voltage okay so in this current is not exactly proportional to the applied voltage so that means resistance value of the element resistance value of the element changes for different values of voltage and current different values of voltage and current example for non-linear elements are 
thyristor so therefore ohm's law is not applicable for thyristors ohm law ohm's law is not applicable for thyristors right so these are the few limitations of ohm's law thank you